everyone. So I wanted to make um, a few videos tonight because I am like ecstatic, over the moon, happy about this BFP today. Um, first of all, I'm sorry if you can hear my dog whining in the background. He's a scaredy cat and it's windy and he's afraid of the wind. Um, and he's running around whining, so I'm sorry if that bothers you. Um, anyway, I wanted to do a couple of videos tonight. Um, I'm just like, I'm just so excited and Tom, <laughs> Tom is out for the night and I can't like, he's the only one I can talk to about this stuff and he's not here. I have to wait for him to get home, so I figured I'd make a few videos so I could talk about it. Um... So, I'm going to make this video a symptom video. Um, I have I wrote all my symptoms down on this piece of paper I have right in front of me, and I cannot believe the amount of symptoms I've been feeling, especially since I'm only 9 DPO today. Um, I am only 3 weeks, 2 days pregnant right now. And I have been feeling a lot of these symptoms for a long time. And I pretty much know I implanted yesterday. I had an implant dip. Um, I felt the implant pains. So I'm shocked that I've had all these symptoms. I was going to do some research later about um, fertilization and the hormones that are released um, in fertilization. I did read somewhere that they're trying, scientists are trying to come out with a new test that can test for um, the fertilization hormone so you can know if your egg is fertilized like the instant it happens which is amazing I mean people could find out they were well pregnant or at least fertilized so early so it's amazing so I'm kind of wondering if some of those hormones is what causes these early symptoms because I'm like it can't be HCG you know I don't know, I have to do more research on it, but anyway, um, and maybe these were all in my head, who knows. Um, so, I guess the first thing, and this is TMI, but the very first thing that kind of made me go, hmm, something is off, something is different about me, um, you know, I don't know if I'm getting sick, or maybe I'm pregnant, whatever, um, I had an increase in bowel movements, and I'm sorry, <laughs> Um, you know, I'm, I'm a regular person, you know, I go every day or every other day, but I was having a bowel movement like five times a day. And I was just like, this is weird. Why is this happening? This is not normal. Um, so that was the first thing. And I've been very, very bloated. I mean, I've been in like yoga pants and stretchy pants and leggings all week. I, I can't even get like my button up pants. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I actually wore a pair of maternity pants early, you know, first trimester maternity pants to work the other day because my stomach was so bloated. I, I just, I couldn't put pants on. And I was like, I, I honestly at some point was like, I think there's a tumor in my stomach because I, I feel like I'm like five months pregnant or something right now. And I'll do a belly shot at some point. I'll do my first pregnancy vlog at some point. And I will do a pregnancy shot. And I will show you what I mean. It's gross. Um, and with that, I've had this just full feeling. Like my whole body feels full. Not just my stomach. Like uh, my boobs, my face, if that makes any sense. My legs, my back. Like... I just have this like strange, uh, that's all I can describe it as full. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, I got a cold sore, a small tiny little cold sore on my lip the other day. And I remember reading about a few women who had cold sores before their BFPs. So that, that was actually the thing that made me like, be like, hmm, maybe I am pregnant. But then I thought maybe it's all the pineapple that I ate trying to get the baby to implant so I don't know either way I have a small, a small little cold sore on my lip um I've had really bad headaches all week like migraine type headaches 
um, fatigue like crazy. I am a night owl. I mean, I get up to go to work at like 5, 5.30 in the morning. And I will stay up some nights until like 2, 3 a.m. Because I just love, I love being awake at night. I love when the house is quiet and everyone's asleep except me. And I can read my magazines and watch whatever shows I want to watch. And it's quiet and I don't have to deal with anybody. I just, I love that time. And I only get it at night and I stay up late. Um, and one night I looked at the clock and it was 8.51 and I was falling asleep on the couch and I said, Tom, I'm out. Good night. I can't do it. I can't stay awake anymore. And then another night we were trying to book flights to a vacation for a vacation and I couldn't, I was falling asleep with my face in my iPad. Like I was just so, so tired. Um, I've had a lot of cramping, not super super painful just dull kind of achy cramping every once in a while it'll be like a little twinge that hurts more than others but um it's not too bad um that's kind of now starting to spread into a little bit of a backache um back cramping whatever you want to call it um i've just noticed that mostly today i've had very tender boobs i mean since i ovulated and my nipples are so sensitive i mean just showering is painful um... i've been a little bit gassy nothing crazy um, today i have been frequently peeing the one day i want to be able to hold my urine and have it be concentrated so i can pee on tests i'm peeing all day I mean, I did drink one extra bottle of water um, more than I normally do, um, but one bottle doesn't seem like it would make you pee all day long. I mean, I can't stop going, you know, every hour or so I'm going. Um, I was dizzy for a couple days, um, maybe like three, four days ago. I was a little bit dizzy, and I've had hot flashes for today, especially today. Um, but yesterday too, and I don't, I don't know if that's more emotional, you know, I'm like, I'm feeling this overwhelming, like, sense of relief almost, like, I really have a great feeling about this pregnancy, like, I, I feel like this baby's gonna stick, I don't know why I'm so optimistic, but maybe because my, I got my BFP so early, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm so optimistic, and it's like a huge sigh of relief like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders and I, I can't even I can't even describe it so I don't know if the the hot flashes are like all this emotion you know just like being released or or if I I don't know I really am hot I mean the temperature was almost 70 here today which is like unheard of um so I don't know what it is but I'm having hot flashes um and then the last thing and this is what made me go test last night. And I know this is nuts, but so I was driving home from work. I had the implantation pains. I had had a small dip in my temperature in the morning. My nose was running uncontrollably last night for about like an hour, hour and a half. It would not, it was, I mean, dripping. I was sitting here with tissues and I was, sorry, wiping it like on my sleeve on my sweatshirt. And it was it was pouring it almost felt like a bloody nose and it, but it was just you know clear liquid and I was like this is strange and I, and I said I'm either sick or pregnant you know one of those one of the two things or maybe both of those things um so yeah those are those are my symptoms I've been having up to this point 90 PO or three weeks two days pregnant um, like I said, I'm home alone tonight and I am like so excited. I need to talk about this. So I'm probably going to make a zillion videos and upload them. So, um, you know, maybe I'll do a first pregnancy vlog. I guess this kind of was a first pregnancy vlog, but I'll make an official one. Um, maybe I'll do that tomorrow after I get, um, some blood work back or whatever. But anyway, um, I hope everyone is doing well. I wish everyone out there baby dust. Like, you have no idea. I know how hard it is. I, I know. I get it. I know where you are. It sucks. And I just hope that at some point you're all feeling like I do. 
and wish me st sticky baby dust. Thanks guys. Bye.